Assalamu alaikum students today we are going to discuss about the life cycle of pythium actually we know that the parent body or a complete body of pythium is known as mycelium and always for the asexual reproduction pythium give a branch and the branch is known as sporangiophore actually this is a portion which is known as sporangiophore this sporangiophore cut off the portion and make a sporangia like this so that's why this portion from here up to here this is a portion which is known as sporangiophore this sporangiophore give rise this portion and this portion is known as sporangia so how sporangia is produced so this is a sporangiophore 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 means sporangia containing or a bearing structure so this is a sporangiophore at the sporangiophore this one is a structure which is known as sporangia this structure is known as sporangia it means this sporangiophore produce a structure which is known as sporangium which is looking like this one this sporangium produce a spores inside the sporangia for example this one is a sporangiophore this one is a sporangia and inside this sporangia this is a sporangia these are sporangiophore sporangiophore inside these sporangia these are structures and these structures are actually produced inside the sporangia and these are known as zoo sporangia and these zoo sporangia are actually kidney shaped like this this one is as a zoospore actually and this zoospore will germinate to produce a new this one is a zoospore this zoospore is produced inside this zoospore angia so actually these zoospore will germinate it means these zoospore will germinate to produce a new pythium mycelium so for example this one is a zoospore this zoospore will germinate it mean germination of this zoospore germination of this zoospore produce a new fungal body which is known as pythium so it was uh, the asexual reproduction in the life cycle of pythium so now we are going to discuss about Uh, the sexual reproduction in the life cycle so firstly we know that this one is a pythium mycelium actually this pythium mycelium will produce two types of gametes or a sex organ and sex organ will produce the gametes so actually pythium give rise the male sex organ which is known as antheridia actually and the female sex organ which is known as oogonia so these are the male sex organs so we can write here these are male sex organs and these are female sex organs oogonia female sex organs these are female sex organs these are the male sex organs actually these female sex organ produce an oosphere and these anthridia will produce the sperm actually sperms actually and what will happen after to this actually this fertilization tube is formed so how fertilization tube is formed in the sexual reproduction we have discussed that both the sex organ male as well as female sex organs are produced close to each other on the pythium mycelium so for example this one is an anthridium and this one is an oogonium 
inside the ovogonium this is the oosphere and between both a germ tube is developed so this is actually a germ tube it is also known as fertilization tube it is known as fertilization tube so the nucleus of male gamete will migrate from here up to here and fertilize it so after the fertilization both nuclei are fused together and fusion of nuclei is known as karyogamy it is also known as fertilization so after the fertilization actually this is a fertilized zygote actually this one is a fertilized zygote which is formed as a result of fusion of these male and female nuclei and this fertilized zygote secrete a thick wall around it when it sec for example this one is a fertilized zygote now this is secreting a thick wall around it when the thick wall is secreted around it now it is known as oospore now it is known as oospore so now oospore is formed so after the formation of oospore there will be two condition either this oospore this one is a oospore this one is oospore there are two condition either germination of this oospore make a zoospore actually or another condition is that the germination of this oospore make a germ tube so if the zoospore are produced these zoospore germinate and produce a neopithecium mycelium if these zoospore germinate to form a germ tube then this germ tube again make a zoospore angium and these zoospore angium again produce a zoospore and these zoospore will produce a neomycelium so it was all about the life cycle of pythium actually it is a type of fungi belong to the division oomycota